Hi guys, I'm KJ. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell so you can know about when I'm dropping a video. And I'm gonna tell y'all again at the end. But um, I'm gonna do a little story time by the time I got catfish. Now I know I already got a catfish story, right? Right. But this is a whole different one. I'm not going to tell y'all um, all our backstory and stuff because that's a whole different story within itself. Maybe that'll be for another day, but not today. So, anyway, got catfish. Dude, we're going to call him Cowboy because he really liked the Cowboys. So, okay, you guys, this is how this went down. Please excuse my bra. I know, but I got some boobies in. They got to be held up. Sorry. And, um, okay, so, Cowboy. Cowboy, um... I was on this old website uh, that wasn't even popping no more at the time, and I had got on there to uh, get some some of my old pictures because I wanted to show somebody something from it. That's what I had got on the site for. And when I got on there, Cowboy was on there, and he hit me up. So when he hit me up, I was like, oh, hey. And I was looking through his pictures, I'm like, oh, he kind of cute or whatever. And um, Cowboy was like kind of like a preppy nerd but like still had that kind of suave sexy vibe i'm not going to insert the picture that he gave me because i don't know that person um and he might see his video one day and sue me i don't know y'all know i don't know but i i'll insert i'll insert a picture an internet picture it can be used publicly and um of someone who has like the same type of vibe of the guy that he was sending me pictures of so you guys can get kind of a sense of the type of guy I was the type of guy I was talking to. Okay. So um within that he was sending me all these pictures of himself and you know, I'm like, oh yeah, he's he's definitely my type because I was back then I had like a very, very strict type that I dated. And um he was it. And <laughs> Like, I, I like to, like, I like to, like, a suave nerd. Like, I don't know if those two things don't even go together, but that's what I was into. Okay, so, yeah. So, he was that, and he was that, you know? I'm just like, okay. So, um, Cowboy, he worked on, like, out in the ocean on, like, boats and stuff. And he would be gone for, like, two weeks at a time, and then he would be home for a week. And then he would be gone two weeks at a time, and he would be home for a week. And that's pretty much how his schedule went. And, um... So when he hit me up or whatever, and um, we would talk, we would talk almost every day, and I would always ask him like, "Can we FaceTime?" Can and he would be like, you know, because he was on a ship, he didn't have a good service. So like when he would come home, I would ask, and he would be like, "Well, I'm with my daughter," and he always had like one daughter like the entire time. This is very key to this story. <laughs> that one daughter, she was like seven or eight. So uh. Like I said, one daughter was living. So I was like, I understand, you know, spend time with your daughter. Like, maybe you can call me tonight. And he's like, I'm going to try. But, like, it would always just be like, he would just call, like, audio. Like, it wouldn't be, like, video. And um, so as uh, he called me um, a lot, I started to just get more frustrated. I'm just like, I need to see your face. I need to, you know. And he's like, oh, chill out. It's cool. You know, like. And he was like, I'm going to video call you right now. So he video calls me. It's dark. Like, completely dark. All I can see is his teeth and the whites of his eyes. Period. That's all. And I'm just like, why would you video call me at, at night in the dark? Like, I can't see you. Turn the lights on. He's like, I can't turn the lights on. I was trying to surprise you, but you're you're being pushy. I'm moving an hour away from you. Because he initially lived five hours away from me, you guys. So he's like, I'm, mov I'm moving an hour away from you. And then you'll be able to see me every every uh, every th every third week when I come home. And I'm like, really? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause, like I said, we've gone two weeks and then he'll come home. Gone two weeks, come home. And so, you know, I was excited because I thought, like, I was going to get to see my babe all the time. Because he was my man by that point. Like, period. Like, you <laughs> mine. And, um, so that's what it was. So, as, um, we continued to talk, we just kept getting closer. And I was being patient because, like, I, like he told me, he was moving closer so he'd be able to see me all the time. And, um, so finally, he moved. 
And the address he gave me, it was an actual street in the town he was supposed to be moving to. But the address did not match up with a house there. And um, I told him this. And he's just like, oh, well, maybe, you know, I got the wrong address. Uh, let me make sure I'll get, I'll do let you know tomorrow. I'm like, okay. And um, the next day, he was pretty much at the like That wasn't a thing. And he was like, you know, I'm moving stuff into my new house. And, you know, like, I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know, like, when do I get to see you? And he was like, um, I'm going back to work. Uh, this week, but like when I get back, you can see me. I'm like, okay, cool. So I knew it was gonna be two weeks, and then I was gonna get to see him. So I'm just like, okay, I can wait two weeks. I waited this long, no, no big. So uh, these two weeks they passed, and he comes home. So um, this is the part it really upsets me. So he was supposed to come see me because he was home, and I. I'm embarrassed to even say this. I cooked with him and stuff. I cooked his favorite meal. I cooked a lasagna and some garlic, some cheesy garlic bread and um, some corn. Because I make really good corn. And like better than regular corn. But like y'all don't know because y'all can't taste my food. And um, I made a payday cake which is like um, it's like butter cake. And then it has like caramel frosting. And it has like crushed peanuts. It's really good. And I made that. And um... Just because, just my stuff, because this is like stuff he told me he liked. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm gonna make sure make good. He gonna eat good. He gonna fall in love. He he gonna fall in love even harder. He gonna be ready. So um, I waited. I waited all day, and I'm the type of person that I worry a lot about people when I care about them. So um. He never showed up and uh i was worried like i was i wasn't mad i was more worried and then finally about 10 because mind you i had texted him time so are you okay okay about 10 p.m he texted me oh i'm okay i just had a flat on the way there so i'm not gonna be able to make it okay so this is my thing right here this is my thing. This is my thing right here. Okay, if you had a flat, sir, why didn't you just call me or text me and let me know that you had a flat? You wouldn't make it. Cause I've been sitting here all day and I ain't let nobody touch this food. I ain't touched this food cause I'm hungry. I'm starving. But I've been waiting on you cause this was for you. So you should been told me I could be a could have been chilling, but even though that big red that's like the third, fourth big red flag in this story. I let it go. I'm like, okay, cool, babe. I'm I'm just glad you're okay. You know, um, and he's like, yeah, you know, when, um, since I posted, then he told me he's supposed to have his daughter the next day, so he couldn't come the next day. He was like, he's gonna have her for the rest of the week. Then he's going back to work, and when he comes back, I can see him then. So I'm like, oh, another two weeks, but fine, whatever. After at the end of that next two weeks, I was actually in his town that he was supposedly had moved to. And so, I texted him and asked him what, I'm, what he was doing. He was like, nothing at home sleep. Uh, well, he said laying down. He didn't say sleep at home laying down. And um, I'm like, oh, okay, well, can you shoot me the address so I can come see you? And he's like, wait, what do you mean? I was like, I'm in your town. And he was like, why you didn't tell me you was coming? I was like, you know, I really wasn't coming for you, but I'm here, so I want to see you. And um, so, <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, well, I have to take my daughter uh to the movies and i'm like okay cool well i could meet you there and um he was like oh okay and uh i was already like the movies was in the mall and i was in the mall that's why i was there i was like in that mall so i was like you know i could just meet you there and so um he texted me he told me he was there and so I go over there and I'm looking for him and I don't see him. I don't see anyone uh, at all. And um, I text him like, I don't see you. Where are you at? And he's just like, oh, I'm by the concession stand. I'm still like, oh, I don't, I don't see you. And he's just like, um, and he's just like, uh, what movie theater are you? And that's how I was like, I'm in the one in the movies. He's like, oh. 
I met the one in the mall. He's like, oh, no, we uh we had to switch theaters. We didn't go to that one. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well, you know. <laughs> so, um, after that, I was already, like, a little peeved off. So, he told me he was going to Applebee's. And he was like, meet me there. And I'm like, okay, fine. I'm not going to meet you there, sir. You just stood me up. No. But I told him I was coming because I'm like, okay, I want him to be stood up like I'm stood up. So, <laughs> I told him I was coming. And, um, I didn't go. <laughs> but I texted him and I told him I was there. I'm like, because I had a feeling at this point. Like, I'm like, this can't be the same dude. But at this point, I'm like... I just have to know who you really are. So I told him, I was like, I'm at Applebee's. And, um, I wasn't. And so, um, he's like, when I told him, when I told him I was at Applebee's, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. My daughter got sick. We had to leave. We had to go home. So at that point, I know he's really dodging me. And I'm like, oh, what's the address? I can bring her medicine or whatever. He's just like, no, 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 um, I'll just have to catch you next time. I'm like, okay, cool. So, at this point, I'm like 100% sure that this is not the person in the picture. I'm a 1,000% sure I'm being catfished. But, I need to know who you are, sir. So, I gotta keep playing along. So, um, the, the 100%, like, I would, like I said, I was already 100% sure, but like, if nothing else told me, this told me. He um, messaged me one day and he's like, like, babe, we need to talk. I'm like, okay, what's up? And he's like, I'm sorry I didn't get to see you when you were here. I'm like, it's fine. What's really going on? He's like, I have a second daughter. I'm like, you have a second daughter? He's like, yeah, she's two. He was like, yeah, she just turned two. Um... I was just, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, can I see her? Like, can I see a picture of her? Like, because I'd already seen pictures of his other daughter. And um, he's like, I'm going to have her tomorrow. I'll send, I'll send you a picture of her then. I said, oh, okay, cool. So, this is, this is, if nothing else told me anything, this told me everything. He sends me, the next day, he sends me a picture of his daughter. But y'all, and he sent it with the caption, daddy dressed his baby, that, 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 I did that. And, um, the picture of the little girl he sent me was so popular on the internet at this point in time. And if I can find the picture, I will, um, I'll post the picture if I can find it. But it was such a popular picture. It was a little girl, and she had, like, a little black dress or skirt or something. She had a chain on, some Timberland boots, and she's, like, with her little peace sign or whatever. She was so cute. She was a little light skin girl. She had, like, green eyes and a little bun. And she was adorable. But that picture was in everybody's fanfic story. That picture, anytime somebody wanted to say somebody was having a light-skinned baby, that was the baby they used. Cause she was cute, she was stylish, she was popping, and you know, like that's the baby everybody wanted to use. So I had seen that baby everywhere, like so much, and he tried to tell me that was his baby and that he had just dressed her. Okay, so meaning that very picture is what he sent me. He was saying he had just put those clothes on her, and I'm like, oh, I've seen that picture before, and he's like, oh, you seen a picture of my daughter before? I'm like, no, I saw that very picture before because this one I'm like yeah you definitely not who you say you are I'm I'm tired of playing this game I don't even care I just want to know who you are like and I just laughed and I said look I know you're not who you say you are I've known that for a while but I just want to know who you really really are he gets mad and hangs up on me because I saw his daughter picture before his daughter picture before and so I sent him like the search for that picture and I like I had a whole bunch of those pictures like on like the image search. I sent it, I screenshot it and sent it to him. And I'm like, but that's your daughter though. And um he's like, man, leave me alone. Like he basically got mad at me like he didn't want to talk to me anymore. He got very defensive. 
Now, where this gets good at is he had told me he didn't have a Facebook. And when you typed in his name, he didn't have a Facebook. But I put his number in and up pops a Facebook, which has the nickname he goes by and a cowboy's helmet as the profile picture. So I'm like, this is definitely, definitely the same person. So, um, there's no pictures of him on this page, so I still don't know who he is, but there was this business that he was always claiming that was, um, actually the name of a famous person's business, but we're gonna leave that person out of it. So I clicked and it was like tagged as a works at page, so I clicked that and I'm going through all these pictures and they're mostly just like flyers and stuff but then I hit one little genius jackpot and somebody had tagged his name and his brother's name not the same and I just want y'all to know this man had made up like fake brothers and sisters like with the real the names of his real brothers and sisters but fake pictures so someone had tagged his real brother like his actual brother's actual pictures and him and it was like them in a picture together. And they favored enough that I could tell that was brothers. And he commented and he said, yeah, me and bro was like, me and bro was um, popping that day or something like that. So I'm like, oh, okay. So this is who you really are. Because like I was able to go to his brother's page and see his brother's pictures and determine which one was him and which one was his brother. So, he looked nothing like the guy that he had told me he was. I would insert somebody with his type of vibe, of his actual type of vibe, somewhere on the screen. So, y'all can see the type of vibe that the real uh, cowboy was giving me uh, uh, compared to the fake cowboy or whatever. And so, like, I literally told him, I know who you are. I seen your real picture. I know what you look like. We can still be friends. And he went off on me for accusing him of pretending to be someone else, you guys. So, at this point, me and Cowboy no longer talks. We're no longer friends. He's still probably somewhere catfishing somebody, pretending to be somebody he ain't. And, um, yeah, that's all. Like, m more than anything, after a certain point, I wasn't even, like, like really messed up about how I felt about him in the beginning. I just, the detective in me just had to find out who it was. And that was more important than the fact that I knew this man wasn't who he said he was. I'm like, I gotta know who it is. Like, that was my main thing. So, yeah, that's the story time of another time I got catfished. I'm KJ. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And I'm out. Oh, <laughs>